Hello everyone, Ryan here. Silly Reviews, something interesting here. I've been using this for approximately seven months. Picked this up on clearance from Walmart. See that brand at the top? It's hashtag from your feed, like, that relays to you. You've seen this on your TikTok feed and your Instagram feed, because it's hot. A hot product, right? It's a It's an electric blender bottle. Ideally, you put things in here and you blend them. You can blend on the go. It has a cap. It has a rechargeable battery in it. Old school USB, micro USB to, to charge it, which is dangerous because those break so easily. I've had a lot of success with this mostly because I've been really careful with that charge port. And it still works. If you can get it at a clearance price, like I did, I would recommend it. I think full price, it was like $20, something like that. Too pricey. I use it to mix up herb, drink powders, supplements, things like that. And it's held up well. I can't say I've ever really dropped it on a hard surface. I've used it a lot, and the battery's still going. You'll be disappointed if you see in the pictures or something where you can put some frozen so like some frozen fruit and try to blend that into some type of smoothie it doesn't have the juice for it okay hello everybody Ryan here the juice it's not going to cut it but simply putting powders <clears throat> see you have your blue light indicator down there and if it gets jammed up, the, the blades are really sensitive, which is the real problem here when you're trying to blend up anything but powder and liquid. And really, you can't even fill the thing all the way up to the top. You can't fill it all the way to the top with liquid because it's too much. It's a handy-dandy little silicone carrying doodad there. And the cap surprisingly fits in that. I don't know if you'd ever want to do that. But I can't believe I've held on to it this long. I use it a few times a week. Vivitar is who makes it. Tells you a little bit about the input output. Got a battery in it that eventually will die and you won't be able to replace it yourself because it's probably hardwired in there. This is all about protection because those little blades in there are really sharp and that's what really weighs down the performance of a machine like this because it's so scared of getting like Vivitar doesn't want to be sued when you hurt yourself, right? So blades immediately cut off and the red light will flash for five seconds if there's too much power it's trying to if it senses that it's hitting something it's it's stopping it's got a gasket in there you want to keep clean that can get really gross really quickly that's the main part of anything like this that you want to keep clean and keep the mold and mildew and stuff out overall i've been extremely satisfied because i've had realistic expectations of it that flashing uh, blue means it's ready to do. It's ready to go. Two thumbs up. I like it. Link in the description. Oop, correction. I said one thumb up, one thumb down. I forgot that part. Ryan here. Silver Muse.